नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल आयुर्वेदा 360 यू माइट बी अवेयर ऑफ पर्टिकुलर कोटा फॉर एडमिशन टू पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन कोर्सेस इन आयुर्वेदा दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट नॉमिनी सीजीएन कोटा सो देयर आर फ्यू चेंजेस फ्यू रिविजंस डन एंड कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव रिवाइज्ड गाइडलाइंस हैज बीन नोटिफाइड बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष फॉर दिस एकेडमिक ईयर 2022 एंड 23 सो मोस्ट प्रोबब्ली दिस इज गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू इन द coming here so this video is all about the comprehensive revised guidelines in detail so if you are interested in this particular aspect of counseling kindly watch this till the end so in the last year the guidelines that were released were almost same to same as that of the previous years that is for the cgn quota in this year there are few changes and there is a major change in the cgn quota especially in relation to the private candidates so what is that exactly we are going to see in this particular video uh, these are the various aspects what we are going to discuss so basically you may be new to this kind of an explanation or topic like cgn quota so basically cgn quota is nothing but central government nominee quota uh, quota what it means is in a particular institute say for example national institute of ayurveda jaipur so there are totally 130 seats as of now for the entire putin branches together inclusive of all kinds of reservations now out of them few seats are reserved and those reservations are given for a specific group of candidates who are those they are nothing but uh, the employees of certain state governments so since they don't have any opportunity to do post graduation once they do once they enter into service sector they are given one opportunity or you can say an opportunity to carry out their post graduation in spite of having a full time job by taking a break so that is called as central government nominee quota so now we'll go one by one uh, that is the central pool this and all we have discussed just now the institutes which are offering such kind of seats that has been guided by the ministry of aish are called as donor institutes the one which gives so what is a deficient state certain definitions which you need to understand for getting what do you mean by cgn deficient state or ut what it means is imagine you are in a state a and that state has say for example five government colleges and all those five government colleges are run by state government so these are run by state government or some could be even central government these government colleges may be having post graduation combined together around for five departments and in ayurveda you have more than 15 departments almost around 15 departments so rest of the 10 departments are not offering any like they are not they have not been offered any post graduation in those department this is specifically in relation to government institutes not any private institutes so in this government institutes since 10 departments are not uh, not offered they are considered to be deficient state or ut for that particular department say for example there is a government college in a state b where there is no pg seat at all that means it is entirely deficient of post graduate seat so that is nothing but the deficient state or ut so in simple words the state or ut where the government college does not offer post graduation seat in any department or all of the departments are all falling under the category of deficient state or ut which means if you are offered a department like dravyaguna even by one college that means dravyaguna cannot be uh, like asked for in cgn quota so that is the meaning of deficient state now who are eligible candidates so those candidates who are belonging to this deficient states or ut now donor institutes so institutes uh, what i mentioned uh, example like jaipur now who are the sponsored candidates so sponsored candidates are the eligible candidates are those where uh, the uh, candidates are working in a government setup already working in a full time on a full time basis not a part time basis it's a full time job which means they are going to retire from that particular job but probably they are not done pg due to various reasons and even in spite of that they have entered into the profession and maybe for improving their performance in their routine work maybe the government may think of giving them post graduation or higher training for that purpose they are called as 
the CGM candidates. So they will be given stipend or salary only from their respective state government. So it is not borne by the donor institute. Donor institute just gives the education. That's all. Now, who are those? One could be the teachers, other could be the medical officers, and other could be the research officers. Now, in relation to the uh, preference, initially the teaching preference or the teachers will be given preference. One more thing is three years minimum experience should be there for all those uh, eligible candidates. But in Ayurveda without MD, you cannot be a teacher. That is why this uh, preference is almost ruled out. It is just uh, lying in the paper. Maybe initial days of Ayurveda, BMS graduates also used to give teaching uh, like uh, service. But right now not possible because MD is compulsory. So this preference is anyway ruled out. So the second preference is the one which is important. Medical officer, say for example, a person who is hired by uh, Punjab government and he or she is a medical officer in Punjab. And Punjab government doesn't have any government institute where multiple departments are given opportunity uh, for conducting PG there. Now that medical officer can apply as a CGN candidate to this donor institute through the Ministry of Ayush for CGN quota seat. Now that officer should be full time working. So that is one important thing. Second one it could be or the third one could be the regular research officers. And any research officer working in and under any state government can also be given preference or can be an eligible one. Now, ultimately, uh, only one eligible RO research officer will be given. Otherwise, MO or teachers, any number of medical officers can be given the particular uh, CGN quota seat per state. Per not per state, sorry, per stream. So, from Ayurveda point of view, only one seat can be for uh, research officer. The rest of them should be filled by medical officers. Now, if 1 and 2 are not available, earlier what used to happen? If there are no eligible uh, medical officers or research officers, earlier those seats were given to private central government of any quota. What do you mean by private? So, they are not under any service, regular service. They are uh, not under any government, any of the government employees. They are not a government employee. Maybe they, just, they might have just finished BMS from a particular state. And that particular state doesn't have the PG seat in particular department. So they were also eligible for applying through CGN quota. Many of the previous year scholars you have got the seat through the CGN quota and even higher ranks also used to get uh, seats there. But now what happened with this changes there is no provision for private CGN candidates which means this is restricted to exclusively the government employees that is regular government employees. So, that is the end of private CGN quota as per this notification. And if there are any vacant seats, even after the counselling for uh, this kind of uh, CGN quota, then they will be handed over to the routine, uh, the counselling process, what is conducted by AACCC. That is the one which conducts the counselling even this year to online mode. Whatever seat is remaining will be given back to AACCC. And ultimately, as per the rules, the reservation roster, as per the ACCC, will be done and ultimately it is open to that respective reservation quota. Anyone who has written on qualified need will be able to take a seat from this quota. Which means the deficient states, that is private CGN quota, is not available from this year. This is the major change what you can see in this notification. So this is removed from this academic year. Now, so what happens once you are interested in this kind of quota, especially this year, then you have to submit the proposal in the annexures mentioned to, to your state government after getting due uh, like permission from your secretariat, health secretariat and other authorities. The last date the government is having is 25th of November. Government will be passing on the information to see the central government, Irish ministry. So the person is not directly giving application to Irish ministry, the government. So 25th November is the last date for state governments except North Northeastern states. They have extension that is up to 10th December. Now scrutiny will be done by Ministry of Irish. Final list after getting the names of candidates from each state wherever deficient state is there or UT is there, the ultimate uh, scrutiny will be done by Ministry. Seniority will be seen, subject will be seen and date of birth will be considered while giving the exact uh, seat allocation. So, donor institutes as of now in India are 3, total seats are 19 in entire India. The major share goes to National Institute of Ayurveda, Jaipur, where 
all the 14 departments are having the post graduation facility so each department will be having one seat of central government nominee 14 seats out of 19 14 are available for national institute of ayurveda and three will be given by the institute of uh, training for research in ayurveda itra so two will be given by the guwahati specifically one is department of samhita another one is kaichikitsa in itra there could be roster and every year there could be variation in the exact department which offers the cgn quota this is the annexure uh, to which needs to be submitted by the candidate through the, the state government which will be ultimately passed on to the Ministry of Irish. So in this way, this year's CGN quota has certain changes and last dates are also mentioned here. So this is for the information to the interested candidates, you can go through this. This uh, link is available in Ministry of Irish website, directly you can download the revised notification. So until next time, thank you.